Hey you guys, so this video is basically to help you if you are a US resident and you're thinking about joining the military, whether that be Air Force, Army, Coastal Guard, Navy, Marines, whichever one. Okay, so first thing I would like to point out is that if you are not 18, meaning if you're not an adult, you're going to need both of your parents' signature, both your biological parents' signature, or your guardian if you are adopted signature to give you permission to join. If you do not like how I did, it might take you a while. Um, as I said, I'm a US resident, so I'm not from the United States, I'm actually from Jamaica. And my mother is here with me, but my father is there, and there was no, my mother doesn't have full custody of me to sign permission, giving me permission to join the United States in the United States military by herself. So I need, also needed my father's signature. However, that would be going through the legal system and that would be include paying a whole lot of money that we just did not need. And I was just six months away from my 18th birthday. So we decided to wait um, because that did not make any sense. So yeah. Okay, so that's first step. Okay, second thing is when you're going to Mess, you're going to need three things, three things, or at least two things, two important things. Um, they are SDG your social security card, your driver's license if you have one, and your green card. I had all three of these bad boys, and they helped me and made my you know my entering in so much easier than if I did not have them because it turned out I actually needed them when I got to the um, liaison or it just made it easier, completely easier and there was no problem for me to find my job and for identification. So I would suggest bringing all three of these babies and it just makes the process a whole lot easier. One more tip. If you are joining the United States military, you need, when you are writing or when you are signing your social security card, you need to sign it in cursive and it needs to be your full first, middle, and last name. They are very specific about it. I almost had to get a new one. So, even if it's none residents to, you need to sign it that way in cursive. So if you do not know what cursive is, look it up. It, yeah, you need to learn how to write it and you need to write it on your green card and that's how you write. That gave me a whole lot of problems, but it turns out all my documents said the same thing. So that might help you, that might not. Luckily for me, everything I had said the same thing. Okay, um, also before you go to MEPS, I would suggest getting the applicant data report. I don't remember if this was at my recruiter or at um, MEPS. However, I would suggest asking your recruiter if he can give you an applicant data report because this shows you your aspects, but what it doesn't, does it show your aspects first? I think it does, but I don't see it. But anyways, it gives you like all the different sections that they have: the mechanics, the engine, the engineering, or whatever that is. I believe it's engineer, general, and the administrative. It gives you all four of those categories and tells you the specific like grades you got in those sections. So it's much easier when you are looking for a job. Also. Your recruiter will give you, I believe my recruiter gave me this paper, and this is just a paper of the job that I was qualified for. He gave me this, and so he told me to look on all of them that I was interested in. Go to airforce.com, that will give you information if you're joining the United States Air Force, or about.com, and that will help you too. Also, I got a full list of jobs, all the jobs in the United States military, which I may be qualified for. And that is why I say you need to get this paper, you guys, so that you can look and they help each other and you will better see which jobs you are qualified for. So, that's another thing I suggest. It helps a whole 
right. Um, also for next year, just gonna need a change of clothes. Make sure you get a little snack. They feed you, so that's all that good stuff. But yeah, that's basically all the stuff that I believe you need to bring because they do have like your your diplomas or your degrees already, and they do have your birth certificate and certain stuff. So certain stuff they're already going to have, certain stuff you need to bring, and I would suggest bringing these three bad boys, as I said, because they saved me a whole lot of trouble and made it easier, and I did not have any problem. And I think that's it, you guys. I don't think I have anything else. Um, I also got this United States Air Force folder, and I just keep all my important stuff in there. And that's basically it. So, you know. Congratulations if you've already joined the United States Air Force and you're a U.S. citizen or, you know, just a U.S. citizen, whichever one. Um, and I hope you do join and you have no problems if you're thinking about joining. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later in another video. Bye-bye.